fear thou not, for I am with thee. As we face this terrifying, perhaps first in our lifetime experience of this pandemic, this particular pathogen racing its way across the globe, it can give us a sense of anxiety and fear. But God says, listen, I am with you. I am with you. So God's response, God's antidote for fear in terrifying moments, in moments when we're not sure or certain of neither a cure nor a vaccine, God is saying he is with us. God is with you, with me, with us, his people, with us as a nation, with us as a world. We are never alone. He also says, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Be not dismayed, discouraged, disheartened by reason of our fears and anxiety. Trust in God. No need for us to be dismayed. He is our God. What a wonderful thing to know that we have such a God who is with us, who is our God when we face uncertain days. Now, there are three things that God says that because he is with us, he will do for us. Here's what he says. I will help thee. You know, there are some times when we have some need of a help in hand. There are times when we have some need of a particular intervention that will enable us to go through this situation. God says, I am your help in hand. Yes, they tell us in COVID-19 that there's something for us to do. And see, when you get in help, it means there's something for you to do and there's something for the other person to do. Yes, so our role is to follow the protocols that have been given. Wash our hands, stay in our homes, trust in God, ensure we play our part in not conveying this virus. God says, I will help thee. And because he will help us, we have nothing to fear. God is your helper. God is our helper. He will sustain us. He will give us strength divine through this crisis. The second thing he says he will do for us is that he will strengthen us. When our faith and our courage seems weak, when we feel as if we need someone to be just there to strengthen us, to give us hope, to give us peace, to give us courage. God says in his holy word that he will strengthen us. So if perchance at this time you feel weak in your heart, weak in your faith, turn to God who is your God. He says he will strengthen you. Turn to my God who is my God and he will strengthen me. So God is with me. He will help me. He will strengthen me. And because he is with me, Isaiah says the third thing he will do is that he will uphold me. Oh, there are times when it's not help we need. It's not strength we need. We just need someone to uphold us. The whole world saw the tearful expression of the Prime Minister of Italy when he acknowledged in his fight against this pandemic that they have done all that they can. There's nothing more that they can do except, Lord, have mercy on us. That expression is an expression that says there is nothing more they can do. They are totally dependent on the eternal God to bring them through. Not only they, but the world, Trinidad and Tobago as well, as well as us as citizens of this great nation of ours. We need God to uphold us.